as an alternative to cash donations to political parties. The top court said the scheme needs to be struck down because it is against the constitution. The court argued that the electoral bond plan is not the only scheme to curb black money. There are other alternatives as well. The ruling said there are two reasons why people give money to political parties. A. To support the party or as a way of saying thank you for your services. Now citing this, the Supreme Court said the scheme goes against people's right to know about possible quid pro quo between the government and big companies. Now what is the electoral bond scheme? The government in 2018 introduced the scheme as an alternative to the age-old practice of cash donations for funding political parties. A bond is promissory note which can be bought by anyone, including individuals and companies. Now these bonds can be purchased for any value in the multiples of 1000 rupees from specified branches of the State Bank of India. But they can only be bought with money through a bank account which meets all the Know Your Customer or the KYC rules. Now the centre's objective was to enhance transparency in poll funding. So what was the case against the scheme? Well, the bonds buyers' names remain anonymous under the scheme, which the petitioners argued against. The opposition said the electoral bond's confidential nature will promote corruption. Now, the petitioners said the scheme does not allow a level playing field between parties. This was based on the rule that the scheme applies to only those groups listed under the Representation of People's Act. In addition, the parties had to have at least 1% of the votes in the latest election to take part in the scheme. Now, this is a key ruling ahead of the elections in the next few months. has been set aside and rightly so because uh, there was no justification to not have transparency in the people depositing the money. So whoever was paying to a political party, uh, his uh, name had to be disclosed if the whole purpose was to bring in, uh, you know, uh, fairness in the electoral process. But I have one problem with the judgment. In the judgment, if you have uh, quashed the scheme and said that it is unconstitutional, there is no way that you could have allowed the political parties to retain the money. And there are more than one problems on that. So a uh, company or, or whoever uh, paid to a political party under the assurance of anonymity. Now, if he had known that this anonymity will go away, he may not have paid at all. Even otherwise, where a scheme is found to be uh, constitutionally uh, not, you know, uh, valid or constitutionally invalid, then there is no question of um, uh, permitting the political parties to gain advantage out of the money that has been collected by them because it has been actually a completely illegal collection. If the whole